Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to the Summer League. This is going to be a pretty cool video because I don't think many of you guys, or maybe you have, I don't know, but I haven't seen many Summer League games and uh, this was the first Summer League th game that I played. You're going to be seeing two games in this episode, one against the Pelicans and this game goes down to the wire and it goes down to a buzzer beater which you'll see. It's pretty crazy and Jeff Taylor just absolutely posterizes me and then I get him back with ba 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 Bruno Caboclo who throws it down right there. 6-4 start and um, yeah, Summer League's alright. I guess it's not really as fun as just a regular game, but it's it's not bad. I mean, you get to play with players that you haven't really played. Get that out here. You get to play with players that you haven't played, you know, with before. So it's all right. Bruno gets this massive check down block. Just get that out of here. And you're going to be seeing that I really enjoy playing with two players in this episode. I enjoy playing with obviously, you know, other than D'Angelo Russell and um, and what's his name, Julius Randle, just because, you know, I get to play with them regularly, but plays that I haven't played with, such as a man that used to be a beast dunker, and he absolutely murdered Dwight Howard in one of his dunks, I think it was Dwight Howard, it may, I, I can't remember, maybe it wasn't Dwight Howard, but Gerald Henderson, this man right here, he, like, like this, Imagine if that went in. That would have been crazy. But yeah, Gerald Henderson, he's really fun to play with. I might pick him up. I don't know. I mean, we don't really need many plays at his position. And let me just, you know, say something right now. I'm sorry for all the guys that saw the free agency video and wanted me to get LeBron and Wade and all these kind of guys. I didn't realize, man. I thought you guys wanted me to get this as a realistic series. I mean, I don't know. Some of you guys wanted me to make it realistic, others don't want to make it realistic. I mean, it's hard, man. I, I want to please everyone, but honestly, sometimes I can't please everyone. And I don't know. I, I didn't think that many of you guys would want to see LeBron James. And get that out of here. Gerald Henderson doing what he does best. Not really, but being athletic is what Gerald Henderson's good at. And he makes his three right here, which... Uh, yeah, I didn't know Gerald Henderson could do something like that. He's he's really performing in this in this uh, video. We get a we get a lucky dunk right there with Julius Randle. But yeah, I'm sorry to all the guys that wanted me to get LeBron James and Dwayne Wade in free agency. I didn't realize. Um, yeah, I mean, not much more I can say. Next free agency for next year, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go and get the best player in free agency available because we're gonna have cap space, and I plan to get rid of Deng, and get rid of Batum, free up some cap space, and I'll tell you something I learned, and whew, I get posterized by there, right there, by uh, Clean Anthony early, and I had to fast forward this, because it was just a free throw game with, uh, with D'Angelo Russell, but I did want to say, um, yeah, I'm going to free up some cap space during this offseason, which means I can sign some good players in free agency, and I think you guys will enjoy that, I'm going to try and get the best player in free agency possible and right now we're in the free throw game he makes the first free throw but he misses the second one we have a chance to tie it up or take the lead i feed bruno caboclo and one to gerald henderson gerald henderson was playing really well in this game i, I don't know how but the thing is i don't know if i'll sign to our roster we have plays at his position and I don't know, I don't, I don't really want him, like, I don't know, he's kind of good, but he's not really matched up against high opponents, I mean, this is, this is the Summer League, so, I don't know, man, it's, it's the Summer League, he's not matched up against, you know, good opponents, and that's why probably he's dominating, but this was terrible, one second left, and I get a buzzer beater in my face from the New Orleans Pelicans, and they win the game off of that by an auto-generated rookie. Are you kidding me? I was pissed when I was playing this. It was kind of funny, actually, but... Gerald Henderson played well. I mean, 6 for 10, 1 for 4 from downtown. He he did what he... What he did... What he did? Yeah, what he did. <laughs> he did what he does best, and that was be athletic, but... I don't know if I'll sign him. He's just good up against terrible opponents, but really, he's not even that good. So that's that. Let's get on to the second game. And if he plays well in this game, maybe I'll sign him. I don't know, but this is cool, because it had the Summer League court... And it felt like a summer league atmosphere right here, up against the Orlando Magic. And this is who the Orlando Magic have. Xavier Henry, Alfred Payton, Mario Hazonia, Joss Harrelson, Aaron Gordon, KJ McDaniel, Shabazz Napier, and then I don't really know all the other guys. I think they're auto-generated rookies. So yeah, we start out the game right here with Julius Randle getting that lab to go. And the Magic though, they are a really young team, but they're really good. And you're going to see Aaron Gordon right here. 
Whew, just yams it on me. He looks like a Blake Griffin right there. D'Angelo Russell pump faking, giving it off to Gerald Henderson, who nails that long two. That was a nice shot right there. I didn't think he was going to get that. And I went for the steal, and I missed. And Alpha Payne goes all the way, gets the lap to go. So it's 8-4 to four to start out. And the match you can't done yet, Alfred Payton is a beast. I don't know if I'm going to pick him up, but facing up against him, he played really well. And I had, you know, I, I had a player up against him that I felt quite comfortable playing with. And that was, and look at this, Bruno Caboclo, man. This guy, he got one crazy block. He's got some crazy dunks. He got an alley-oop right there. I mean, he's doing some crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, Alfred Payton, not a guy that I probably will get because his ratings aren't very good in 2K. And he's just not a great 2K player. Get dunked on right there. Oh my goodness. Bismack Biyombo throwing it down and Trey Burke hitting that three right there. But yeah, Alfred Payton, man, up against him, he was doing work. He played really well. This man, Bismack Biyombo, though, another slam to his name, 13 to 22. We're getting smashed right here. But yeah, we're going to do our one quarter, or maybe it's a half. Is it a half? Yes, yeah, a half. We're going to simulate a half, and uh, then, we, you know, I don't know. I just like playing the first quarter and the fourth quarter for two games. It's kind of fun. I don't know. It makes editing easier. It makes getting videos out for you guys easier. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, you guys seem to enjoy it as well. Um, but some games I will play the whole game. Like, the first game I play of this season with the, with this My Jam series. Get that out of here. Yamahimi blocks that. Um... But yeah, the first game I play of this season, I will make it a full game. Don't worry about that. Roundel gets that lab to go, and we're down by six points right here. We get a nice screen by D'Angelo Russell, steps back from downtown, knocks it down. And let's talk about some NBA at the moment. How beastly is Andre Drummond? My boy. I love Andre Drummond, man. He's, I'm glad to see him doing work. I tried to get a block right there. It turns into an M1. And this game is pretty much done. Steph Curry dropping 53 points. Man, oh my god, I gotta talk about this. Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Orlando Magic. That game was crazy. Double overtime. End of regulation. It was Durant hit a three to like tie it up, I think. Oladipo hits a three to make it a three-point lead for the Magic. Then Westbrook comes down the other end, like 0.5 seconds left. Half foot shot. Gets it to go, Westbrook sends it into overtime, and then it went into double overtime, man. Oladipo was clutching the overtime. It was crazy. That Orlando Magic Oklahoma City, Th Oklahoma City Thunder game was insane. That was a crazy game. I was watching it live, and I was like, damn, that's crazy. I was tweeting about it. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, at NickSmith71218. All links are in the description. Twitter, YouTube, if you guys want to subscribe, you definitely can. If you guys enjoy the video, leave a like. We lost this game to the Orlando Magic, which, eh, it's Summer League. I don't mind. It's, it's a team that I wasn't comfortable playing with, and, um, yeah, I guess that's that. Randall played well. Um, but Gerald Henderson, I was looking at his stats, he seems alright, but I don't know, he, I thought his dunk would be a little bit higher, but it's not, I guess he's getting up there, and he's only 28, I don't know, I just, for pick 12, he should have been a better player, but anyway, Orlando Magic, we lost to them, but they ended up winning the uh, whole tournament anyway, so I don't feel that bad about losing to them, and then we get a level 20 thing, and we choose the bait and switch pitch, Convinces the opposing GM that the offer is fair. Hopefully we can get to use that soon. When we make some trades, I'm out. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Peace.